Hola. Hi. How are you doing, Roscos? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Roscos viewing party of RuPaul's Drag Race yes! All Stars Season Eight, y'all. Ah, uh, yes. Are we excited? We are. I'm super excited to get this yes. shit thing started. <laughs> oh my goodness! Welcome we back. It. We missed you last week. Yes. Thank you. I missed you guys too. Yes. I was in Providence and Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, yes. And happy birthday! Happy to you. belated. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciative. Uh, ladies, why don't you have a seat? And let us welcome the very talented, the very gorgeous, the hilarious, and gappy, Miss Heidi and Cousin! <laughs> yes! Ow! Oh, oh. work! Um, now, before we get started, uh, first thing, uh, just right off the bat, did you bring me a flashlight? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Make sure it's on for you. <laughs> so you did bring me one. Sickening. Okay, no. Uh, <laughs> well, welcome. Can we get another mic for... Uh, uh, one up? Yeah, it's just not up. Let's see. Let's pass one over to Heidi. Wah. There we go. Let's see. What's happening, Roscoe? Gorgeous. Yes. Gorgeous. Well, welcome, yes. Heidi. Um, welcome, Diva. Hello, hello. Hi. Before we get started uh, with the show and kicking and chatting, I know that Heidi wants to get a couple things off her chest. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Started right off the bat. Yeah. Heidi, the mic is all yours. And it's on. <laughs> I'm about to gag you, bitch. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Now, okay, so it's no, it's no, uh, no mystery that what had happened online with me and Kahana happened. And I just wanted to say that um, the whole situation, we have had our conversation off, you know, through each other, with each other, and she has apologized to me about some things where she was very much in her emotions about some things that mostly like the fans weren't taking her uh, opinions and like her experience into consideration, and also saying that um, I, she and Candy were the reason why I quit, which both are not true. Though that's not the case. That that was not it. Did did, did those whole situations help? No, but. They were not the reason why I quit. I was not happy being there. I felt very, very in a sense of overlookedness and stuff. And I've just, it was not, it was not conducive for my mental health while I was there. And I did not like w how it made me feel being there. So that's why I left. So I wanted to clear that up for sure. And I also apologize to Kahana because I know I personally could have handled the situation way better than how I did online. Because it, once it went going, it got snowballing out of control and it went really, really crazy. And I had to apologize for her because that was just, it was a very ugly situation. So we have moved on past that. We have agreed to disagree on some things and we're just gonna let God take it from there. And so and that's that. Good to uh, hear. That's amazing. Absolutely appreciate you speaking out on that. But we also- Also, don't send no hate to nobody ever online Absolutely. for no reason because that's just ridiculous. Totally. If you're trying to send hate on someone's behalf, don't do that. Go send a bitch a dollar. Go 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 spread love instead of hate. There's no need for all this hate. We going through a whole whole drama, traumatic experience with the world today, our rights are being taken away. Don't be over here spreading hate and bullshit. Let's spread some love and, and tip a bitch and subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com. Now listen, they no. not agree 100% but also, we do need to get Kahana's story. So, welcome, yes. Kahana Montre! Oh my I'm, I'm God. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry! Jerry! Jer Shady bitch. Shady. Bitch, yes! Come on, girl! Where you at, girl? Yeah. Come on, get, get a chair! Get a chair! <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's, let's go ahead and get into this show on a positive yes. note. So, let's go ahead and start this shindig. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. So we're back with yeah. our second design challenge for this season. Oh, and before we get into that, Heidi, I just want to say I love, love, love your hair and makeup today, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Same -sy, same -sy. Thank you so much. But out of these all-star winners that we have, we have the twinners, Trinity and Monet, Shea Coulee, Kylie, as well as Trixie Mattel. Which box would you like to get? 
Ooh, I would have definitely took the Shea uh, box for sure, because you just know it's going to have all the good fabrics. It's going to have something you can work with that I know would look, yeah, I would definitely take the Shea. What about you, Nisha? I thought it was really interesting that all of them had like fabrics, like good, good stuff, stuff to they, work yeah. with, and right? And sponges. Yeah, yeah, and sponges. <laughs> you leave Monet out of this. Um, I would have liked, um, I, like obvious choice for me would have been like Trinity the Tuck, right? Oh, yeah. Body. Yeah, that, I, that would have been the obvious choice. But Kylie, I think, would have been a cool one. Because I also think like the body queens, they were going to put really cool jewelry and things that you can do, pasty and glue and all that kind uh, of stuff. Very smart. So that would have been, been a cool box to, to go with. Um, do you guys think anyone um, was sabotaged or did not get the box they should have? There was no way to tell. Yeah, no, it's yeah. pretty balanced, fair for the they most part. They should have let Lala open the box and like pee and then, and then be shady, right? Oh, are you a producer on Drag Race? No. Oh. She could you, be, though. You she need to submit some ideas. Shit. Look at you, yeah. But yeah, Nisha said they all had really good, um, good stuff in there. So it's going to be interesting to see. Now it's going to go down to who can sew and who can't. Yeah. Totally. And right now it looks like Candy is the one that really doesn't know how to sew. W what would you have been feeling in this? You're like, I can slay this, or you like, fuck, a sewing well, machine. She did really well in the first design challenge, though, too. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm not afraid of a sewing machine. I'm by no means like a designer. I, well, I am a designer in a sense of like I can create the concept because a lot of what I wore on the season I came up with the concepts and like idea designed them myself, but I didn't actually physically sew them. So I would have been like. Probably somewhere in the middle on this one. Like, I know what direction I want to go in, but now how the fuck am I going to do it? That's the problem. So, yeah. Well, in addition to Candy, do we not also think Lala may have a little bit of a struggle ahead of her? That is... <laughs> was that directed to... Was that just in general? Yeah, anyone. Go ahead. I'm a talker, so if you say so, I'll probably Jump just say it. Go ahead. Jump in. <laughs> it sounded like an observation. <laughs> I hear you. Okay, work. Well, do you agree that Lala has a little bit of a struggle ahead of her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw the first season. <laughs> no tea business. We Just, saw the bags. We Ain't no saw. tea. We Shit. Saw. We definitely saw the bags. Um... I just love that everything, when she's like, oh, you know, gowns, and all she was doing was just draping just the fabric over. <laughs> like, I see her just cutting a hole in it, and then it's just a poncho. Bitch, she's going to make a caftan down. She's gonna, that's what it is. See, so that bitch up, you know Absolutely. what? That might work. I love a caftan. Ain't no wrong with a caftan. Absolutely. <laughs> um, in addition to them, do you think Jimbo is playing it up that they um, are bad with time management because a professional no. costume designer? No, that bitch is bad with time. Okay, words. Horrible. Step on it. That bitch is bad Horrible. with time. That bitch is bad with directions. Don't let her take you nowhere. She will get you lost. There's been so many times I've been walking somewhere, and we're like trying to figure out where we're going to the bathhouse. Or... Uh, <laughs> 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 we be trying to figure out where we're going. I'm like, I don't feel like this is right. And I'll look up the directions and we're going in the opposite direction every time. So yeah, no, no. She's really bad with time management, for it's sure. So, it's so funny because on, on the show, whenever they needed everyone ready on time, all you had to do was look at Jimbo. And if Jimbo was halfway through, you're like, oh, bitch, we got time. <laughs> because, you know, they want everyone ready. Every it's like, time. where's Jimbo at? She's got like a brow on and that's it. There was plenty of times I would be like dressed and ready to go for the row. I look over and she just paint my face. I'm like, sis. We gotta go. Sis, they telling us I gotta take my photos before we hit the runway and stuff. I've done all this and stuff. They taking me to the stage and you still do your makeup, sis? Girl, she asked me the other day, she's like, do I take too long on my makeup? I'm like, yes. <laughs> Bitch, yes, you do. You need to get faster, ho. You do. How long does she take to do her makeup? Eight okay. hours. No, no, no. She doesn't really take eight hours. Um, I would probably say two and a half to three hours, which isn't a, like horrible. But on this show, we usually are a lot of like an hour and a half, two hours. So yeah, she was always running behind on the show. I was like, girl, I like duck that bitch points or something. <laughs> that bitch is late. Take her points away. <laughs> well, Heidi, unfortunately, we don't get to see you anymore on the show, but um. You had to do that for your own personal reason, we understand. But now getting to watch it, are you excited to watch it as a fan or are you just like, damn, I wish I was still there for that? Oh God, no, I'm not, I am so happy I'm not there. Uh, but <laughs> I, the thing is, I love Drag Race. It's always been like my favorite show. And it's, once you're there, and it's almost like, 
when you watch The Wizard of Oz and Dorothy finally gets to the wizard and you see the curtain rise up and it's just a man, <laughs> that's what going to Drag Race is. You're like, they're like, oh, I see everything. Who's the man? RuPaul. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, most of us too, bitch. <laughs> okay, down, down. Most, not all, not all, not all. So you're saying it's not what we see is what's happening there. Well, the thing is, we film for like, what, 10 to 12 hours a day? And it's like each episode is like two days of filming, so and we only get like an hour, hour and a half worth of. Co- There's right. not gonna be everything shown. This can't. It's impossible. So let me ask you this uh, to pick it back off her question. Um, did we don't get to see you on there anymore? Now, when you left, were you like, okay, I'm still because I haven't asked you this. We we obviously we have conversations on our own, and we've talked about this. And when I got eliminated, and then. She sent me a message. We had our own conversation. So we, you know, we'll catch up. We know what's going on. But I never asked you this. Um, did they tell you right away that you couldn't do fame game? They told you this right away? Um, well, when, you, when we got eliminated, they take us back and they explain. They, they, they did explain the rules of the fame game. And they said, if you do make the decision to quit, that you cannot do fame game. And I was like, well, I'm quitting Drag Race for a chance of $200,000. Fifty thousand right. dollars for the same game. I'll walk away from that too. That's fine. I'm like, I just want to go home and be happy. So that's, that was very much like what I needed in my life. Absolutely. And again, you know, especially with the fandom and stuff, and and the comments and the things, you know, uh, us as contestants, especially uh, Heidi, with the decision that she made, she don't owe nobody shit. No. She don't know you any answers. She don't got to answer any questions. However, on if Patreon, you would like to, <laughs> I know that for five I know that's what you figured out. Patreon it. took the words out my mouth, bitch. You better. Ooh. Bitch, I knew it was coming. Um, but you know, I'm just I applaud you on your decision. I know that it had to be a hard one and something you had to it, deal with for a while. It yeah, definitely was one of the hardest decisions I've ever made because. Being on Drag Race and winning Drag Race has been a dream of mine for years and years, about over half my life now at this point. And being, having to make the choice to leave that show and leave that dream behind, it tore me up inside. It's not gonna lie, it, it, it dragged me down. I, since leaving, I have dealt with depression, I have dealt with anger, I have dealt with so much, but I'm in such a better place now and I do stand by leaving because I do believe it was the absolute best decision for myself in that moment of time. Yes, ma'am. Let me ask you this. Let's yes, say that um, oh, you, you, you left, right? Yes. Let's say they call you and they're like, Heidi, are you in a better place now? Do you think that you would be open to coming back and doing another part of the competition, whether it's an All-Stars or a Versus the World or something like that? Is that something that you would be uh, open to? Um, I would definitely first, because the, the problem was this time around, I didn't, check in with my, I was going through a very, a lot of stuff, a lot of, my grandmother had passed away, my family had really fallen apart. The, I'll t- I'm not gonna go into all the details, but the last time I was with my whole family together, my brother pulled out a gun on my uncle. So that's just how, like, it was like a month before leaving for All Stars. So I was going through a lot leading up to it. So I would, and I didn't really check in on myself. So if they were to ask me to come back, I would definitely take a deep reflection and make sure that I personally am in a very good place. And then like, does the check clear? Right. And tiptoe back up in there, bitch. Yes, honey. Yes. Can I, I want to ask you this because after you left the following week, RuPaul stormed in the room and made some amazing points um, at like, the opportunities and whatnot that you girls get by being on the show and it's the biggest platform in the world. Do you think that had that happened while, if she came in while everything was going down during your episode, that maybe that might have made a chance different for you? Um, the thing is, I, you know, I, I don't know because I was just so not happy. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very much like, I need to, I'm a Libra, I need to be at peace, I need to be happy. So I, d- I don't know, maybe it would have been enough to snap me into it, but I, I do stand by the decision at the end of the day, so maybe it would have been. And um, I, honestly, I, I, I do very much so appreciate and love the show and appreciate the opportunities that it has afforded me. I actually said, do you, do you remember when I said it on stage on the second week? I broke down on the stage. I was like, I just want to say, RuPaul, that you changed my life and I want to say that. The, and she was like, she looked, she looked. 
I want you to know, not even turning her head, I want you to know that you did the work. And you know what, when she said that I would, though she, she was happy that I was acknowledging that what she did and what all the producers and the camera, even the camera people did for me and helped change my life, she did let me know and instill in me that it was me doing the work that made that change. So I was like, you know what, bitch, you're right. I did make that change and I did put in that work. So thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, we love that. Well, let's see these queens get to work on. on these outfits, Ooh, and let's yes. get back into it. Ooh. I want to see how many needles they break on the All sewing machine. Them, them machines are horrible. Okay. Work. Hot chicken, and bitch. we're Hot back. Chicken. The chick... <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? It was the gap. It was Stop the gap. It. I'm sorry. Just in case, she just, just assaulted in case me. YouTube did not came in late on that. Bitch. She just spit chicken through her gap at fucking Batty right now because it was too hot. I thought Girl. the chicken. I thought the chicken was lovely. That was <laughs> okay. Flavor I'm love. Sorry. That okay. was the I'll, best. I'll swing next was time. It? <laughs> Knock it out of the park, girl. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, how lovely is it to see Raven and Chanel? Oh, yes. So yeah. good. So good. I, li I live with... You know, I love seeing them. They came... Uh, 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 sorry, the food got here. Uh, <laughs> Raven came in on our season, on season 12, too, and she was she just so sweet. Yeah. I was like, I was so afraid of her when I first met her. I'm like, this bitch is scary. She's tall. I'm trying to be careful because there's still a little bit of chicken in my mouth. Hold on. <laughs> Professional. Nation, you want some chicken? <laughs> when, when the cameras are off, oh I'll have some God. chicken. <laughs> uh, why do y'all think Raven and Chanel were there over RuPaul? Because she had to do some Emmy shit, I believe is okay. what it was. There was something she had to do for like the Emmys or something like that. And so she had to step away. Inside and team. so they That's brought in uh, Raven and Chanel. Um, Good tea. Yeah. I so, love that. So with them having Chanel there a couple episodes later, do they keep the lip sync assassins or do they go home after their... No, no. they don't keep us there. Okay. No <laughs> no more chicken while I gotta talk. Um, they, they don't keep us there, no. Um, uh, actually, we get the song literally two... Because I was a lip sync assassin yes. on uh, All Star 6. Um, they send us our music uh, two days before the lip sync and that's when we have, t have time to learn how to uh, get the song together. And that's about it. And they, they, um, they pull us in on that day. They make us get out the car really fast, mic us, put us back in the car, and that's when we have to film getting out the car and being all dramatic and bullshit okay. and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. You mean that, you, that happened, that's not natural? No, we, 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 just, we naturally just have mic packs on right, us. Right, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I also, love it. Probably Chanel. They pro I mean, she was... How long ago was it that she had, like... Sorry. No, go ahead. I have some t there was some funny shit that happened when she was the lip sync assassin. I want to share. I had to Still, share with y'all. Bitch, share. let me tell you. She was up there. She had getting... She was clapping. All the nails was popping off and everywhere and going. And then... Then... Okay, hold on. I got to act this out. Okay, so... It, at the end of it, the lip sync was done, and, and RuPaul says that she's the winner. Okay, now... Me. Chanel's over here, and RuPaul's all the way over there, about 30 feet away. And then, and then, and then she goes to uh, say who's, who she's, whose lipstick she's pulling out. She goes in, she says, the queens have chosen to eliminate. <laughs> and without missing a beat, RuPaul goes, I was like, bitch, either you got the best eyes in the world or bitch, you over here acting your ass off, no. bitch. You better get it. I was in the back, I was, I was watching, I was like, now you know you ain't seen that damn little ass, little ass lipstick all the way. So we had to do it again. So they were like, can you, can you do that again? And, Not can and you say the name this time. <laughs> Oh my God, girl. I was dying. I was Damn. like, what is this? What's going on here? Oh my God. <laughs> Not so, can you do it again? Basically, so they had to do it again. And when they did it again, the girl who got eliminated, <laughs> she, she already knew. She already knew. Because <laughs> she, she's closer, right? She's closer than Ruby. If she looked over there, she probably knew what was coming. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I was in the back safe, so I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, speaking of acting, what are your thoughts on Alexis Michelle this season, Heidi? <laughs> She'll be here baby, next week, so we'll share what you have to baby, say. Baby, she wants an Emmy, baby. 
I, I've been talking, when I talk to her, I always get her to do my favorite thing in the world. My favorite thing that she does is, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Just, I live, I live. She's gonna get it for him. <laughs> the thing about Alexis is she's just extra, period. Like she puts, she is. She's just extra, right? And I promise you, she is so grateful to be on the show. Yeah. And if you talk to her, she w before the show aired, she really was so worried about how she will be depicted on the show. Uh -huh. So when she does cry or she's going through it, it's genuine. She, she's really going through some shit because she is terrified of how she was gonna be received by everyone because if you guys know, the fandom is absolutely toxic. It's, cr yes. it's absolutely insane. So it's another thing that I feel plays a part in the contestants' mental health when For they're sure. there because you're thinking about that. Would you agree with that, Heidi? Absolutely. It's, it's definitely something that's going to be running through your mind, especially on a second time around, because you know, you've, right. you've been there, you know how the, the toxic fans can be, and, and you're like, what are they going to think when I do this? What are they going to think when I say that? What are, da, 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 da. That all runs through your mind and stuff. It's like, oh, bitch. It's, it's very much, it's, it's, it's just always like a constant noise in the back of your head, like, oh, God, what are the people going to think about this? It's, yeah. it's crazy. And Reddit doesn't help, not one damn no. bit. Reddit is evil. Listen, Reddit. Unless it's She Devil by Night. <laughs> That's my bitch right there. <laughs> That's my bitch. Reddit is run by RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> Girl, I don't give a fuck. Every producer on that show Let has me. a fucking Reddit. They, they tell a friend bitch. and then they the, bitch. Yeah. The way the leaks be so accurate, I'm like, bitch, they paying somebody to leak all this shit. There ain't no way all I this mean, is up here. I mean, they have pictures from the set. Like, they'll have, and then, bitch. Oh, no, it's literally when the girls get out of film and they already have the cast just posted. They're like, oh, this is who was not talking for eight weeks and so and so. Wow. I, I, I have a, a conspiracy theory. Tell Speak us. On it. I'm going to tell y'all the Speak conspiracy theory. Speak on it. Okay. So everything gets leaked, right? All these things start to get leaked. And for example, if Heidi decided to go home and y'all had heard about it, you take it a little bit lighter than you do when you first see it. And I feel like they do that with everything. It's a way to manipulate everyone's feelings about it so that you don't get so like angry or this or that about it. And so that they can see how people respond to it in order to like help with editing and see how it goes. Like for example, if Heidi is like, um, everyone's like, well, fuck Heidi, she should have left. Then we're gonna edit that way. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or if it's like, oh my God, why did Heidi leave? We love her. Okay, we have to make sure that we show some empathy with this because that's what we're getting. It would be the smart thing to do. I see it. It would be really smart to do because this, this Reddit thing, it's a, it's a drag race audience. Yeah. That's what it is. It's a drag race audience. And I always think it's always like, it softens the blow and it helps with editing because that's how it's kind of received. Um, because bitch, they put everything on Details. there. You know what's gonna end up happening? I think this would be kind of cool. How would you feel about this? If drag race was live like that, like it was taped like Survivor or like Big Brother where you had like that last hour where you were like, okay, now the girls are going in to vote and you kind of like see how they talk with it. They can't actually I feel edit it like that because it's live. Daddy, I feel like one day one drag competition will come out that way. Bitch, sign me up. I want to read a bitch down. Who are you looking at? You fucking took my oh. toothpaste, bitch. I feel like one day... Where's my orange juice? Something huh? like that will come out. Put the girls in a motherfucking house. In a house. Like America's Next Top Model. And let us... Ah! But wait, you cannot get out. Y'all locked in. This is the problem. That if it, if it was that, then it would be like... Bad, bad girl Club. Club. Yes! Yes! That's what it would Down. be. It would be... It, yes. It's too much. It would be... Yes. No, that's what they want. Yeah. It, Oh, bitch! No. I'm too bitch. Bitch, no. Two hundred fifty thousand uh -uh. dollars, and some bitch is in your face, Listen. and you hate her. You can't win that money, <laughs> bitch. I promise you, it's gonna be the best Listen. tea of the world. The girl's gonna be arguing every episode. If, the that's the thing. 
Because it seems like they're having an issue right now trying to find something to talk about Yes. during this episode. It seems yeah. a little slow. Has it seemed slow so far? It's a sewing challenge, so... It, yeah, I think everyone is kind of focused on getting their shit done because everyone here besides Jimbo, Jimbo. is at risk, really. And, and it's only one look this time as well. Well, we want to fight, bitch. <laughs> Stop. You know, I know, I know why it's not like that because if it was like that, it's the 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 fan. The fan no, is too much. Have, we the won't have Reddit or anything. Yeah, yeah. The Bitch, fan y'all is too gonna much. watch it all unfold yeah. live. Big I think Brother that, live stream. I think that would change differently if there was no that Reddit like so that. Would be so would be so cunty and would also cost so much money. Well, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that they don't. <laughs> Shame. Um, so anyway, on that <laughs> on that note, let's, let's go back. back to the show and see these fucking looks. Okay, do y'all think the smart thing to do is to Start a dress from scratch at this point. Maybe not from scratch. Maybe rework what you have, but all the way from the beginning? Some of that fabric you can't rework. Like they say, once you cut it, it's done. Because of the sequence, correct. Uh -huh. You're right. If you're a whiz, maybe, but there's only like, what, two of them that are like seamstresses, seamstresses? So, right. I, no, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Ask it. You better figure something out. Okay. <laughs> Make something work. And fuck Jimbo for running your all time. Look at this sleeve I made. Like, okay. <laughs> so shady. <laughs> Bitch, if she I'm just like, wears the sleeve, that's good enough, just honestly. Just the sleeves. I mean, like, how stunning. That was beautiful. She don't know, but she about to make me one. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, I, I got to ask her if she still makes uh, stuff for herself. Do you think she still? Yeah, she still I makes was, I was on a call with her uh, two days ago, and she was making something that, like, you just pull a string out of it and it just falls off her like burlesque. I'm like, bitch, you gonna make me one? I want her to make, I'm about to, I'm about to employ my <laughs> sister, honey. She better get to work to making me something nice. Uh, speaking of your sisters, did Jada uh, help you at all get ready for this season or did you help her get ready for all you, winners? I did not help her with all winners. She was very secretive about all winners even though I'm literally sitting there filming a podcast with her and I already heard everything. I'm like, bitch, I know you're about to leave but you're not saying nothing. But I'm gonna let you go. And then she didn't really help me. She, I'll take that back. She helped me one day. She, she, what she loves to do is she loves to just pop in town and then knock on my door and be like, hey, bitch, I'm here. So she did that one day while I was prepping for All Stars. And I had that, Jay Rhodes, my assistant, he can attest to this, because he was there. And I had on um, the outfit I was wearing for the, uh, the first runway, the uh, famous, what, what was it? The category? Famous Forever. Forever famous yeah. Dana, no. And I had on um, my entrance hair, which was very small. And she walked in, she said, no, bitch, you need something bigger. Change that. I was like, oh, okay, well. And me and J-Ro had just got done fighting over the hair. I was like, but I like the hair. And then Jada said, no, bitch, change it. I was like, okay, we'll go find another wig then. That's fine. But that's Here. the extent of my help from Jada. Did you seek out any help from anyone getting ready for All Stars? I did, actually. Um, Manila Luzon, she helped me. Like, what I do is I all, when I come up with my ideas, I can't draw. So I always go over to Manila's. I, we get really, really high. <laughs> and I just start explaining it to her, and she just starts doodling it out for me, and then it comes to flourish. And I'm like, yeah. Was it the strawberry look? Because she has a lot of fruit or food she, inspired it, things. It was the strawberry look. I was like, I was like, this is, I want it to still be shaped like a strawberry, but I want, we actually came up with like five different uh, variations Word. for the strawberry look. But that was the one we settled on, because I was like, it feels like it's still like fashion, but also still youthful. So I was like, we came up with that one. She helped me with my, um, what was it? There was a couple other ones. She, uh, my, um, the two looks I wore for the fashion show on day one, she helped me with those as well. And then Willem let me borrow all her shoes, so whenever I had a nice shoe on, it was, it was Willem's. Uh, <laughs> baby, I'm a cheap bitch when it comes to shoes. <laughs> I'm too rough on shoes. I don't buy uh, expensive shoes. We can't share feet, bitch. We got big feet. Size 15s over here. Uh -uh. We're Ooh, fucked sure if we ever get on the oh show. My God. That's a boat, bitch. That's what? Okay. This boat wow. be tipping, honey. You better canoes on that water, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about boats in the water. It's too soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, Betty. Girl, you just put a target on your back, right? <laughs> I think it's too soon. I think it's too soon. <laughs> oh, whoa. Betty, there is... There are some orphaned billionaire children right now huh? that Fuck are em. feeling some type of way. You're At up the here Blake making 182 jokes. concert. <laughs> Let's go find them. Bitch, we'll turn up for some coin. But, uh, we, uh, okay, no, okay. we gotta stop, we gotta stop. Put here. on my human yeah. unit, honey, and pop we, through. We, 
Yeah, get that <laughs> coin. Honey. Crazy. I, I, I'm above it. I've done it before. Do it again. Heidi. <laughs> Hot what? Oh, we don't we don't talk about that part of my life no more. No. <laughs> what part? What part of your life? When I had to uh, resort to hooking. Uh, the what? Huh? <laughs> was this in Glasgow or Ramsar? No, that was that was me shitting. That was just, it was just, I don't be hooking no more. I found the Lord. Okay, probably a good Christian woman. Yes, yes. I found yeah. the Lord. She's in North Carolina. She was, was a different yeah. woman. I was also a pimp at one point in time. <laughs> Make that money. Listen, I believe all of this because I've driven past her house. There's this cute little lunch spot that I go to in West Hollywood. And every, Vaseline and Alley. every time I drive by, Miss Thing is outside just smoking it up by herself. Just so it's a little suspicious. Live? No, she's live on TikTok. It's a little bitch. suspect. I don't I'll know. I'll be up there shaking a little leg, see who stopped by and stuff. Be like, oh. But, then, but in the popo, -po, I'm like, run, bitch, run. I got, I got warrants, bitch. I got warrants. Stop joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't. I don't. Listen, on that note, I am dying to see what's on this runway. Let's go right back yes. to the show. <laughs> All right. Let's go through those. <laughs> Let's go through those one by one. Yeah. Uh, um, since we just saw Jessica, let's start with Jessica's. What do we think about Jessica's? We'll start with you, Heidi. It was very somber. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting liturgical. <laughs> I, I think it was cute. I, I don't think there was anything really wrong with it. I think it was cute. It was fun. It, well, what I will say, it moved very well. Um, Gorgeous. With, every time she would turn, it looked beautiful. So I think job well done. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Betty, do you guys like it? Yeah, I, I, area of improvement, maybe a different hair shape. I feel like we're getting that same hair silhouette from her on a couple looks. Other yeah. than that, no notes. Yeah. yeah. Plus. Yeah, I like the two. If, if uh, and I know this is the fabric thing, how much fabric she had, but if the fa if it was all the way to the ground, it, it would have changed the look yeah. completely yeah. and would have made it a gown, and it would have looked even more expensive. Work. Um, it would have elevated it a, a little bit uh, more, but I thought it was great. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's talk about uh, La La Rie. <laughs> One of our guests up okay. here said, look it, how fucking orange you look. <laughs> not that. Well, it wasn't the orange that I couldn't get past. It, it was, was the hairline. hairline. Okay, sister. Was that Alexis Michelle's Agnes Moorhead wig? That's what it looked it, like. It, it, I think it was Alexis's wig, but I don't know if it was that one. But yeah. You know, okay, so here's the thing with yeah. that wig. I could tell it may not have been hers because the white lace around the lace it, you was, see it immediately. Yeah. It didn't match her. That's why it stood out. It looked like it was floating. Okay, she but you, she you needed to put a little foundation. No bronzer foundation. Yeah, a little, she a little tutu little... would have got her together. Mm -hmm. But the dress looked gorgeous. She did a great job. It, for for three for making three dresses. Yeah, I didn't. It see... came out cute. There was a little fit like on the shoulder on the issue shoulder. right there a little bit. But for the most part, I thought it was successful. I think she put a uh, shoulder pad. I think that's what it was, right on the side. That's not her shoulder? I think, no, no. Yeah, no, that's a shoulder <laughs> pad, Heidi. That no, was, was a shoulder <laughs> pad. That was a shoulder I'm pad joking. there. I'm joking. I love a shoulder yeah, pad. Yeah. I do what I'm just the problem, like the, the problem is it was a shoulder pad for someone that's like a little bit. A little, no, a little smaller. No, no, not it, as broad. It wasn't serving like, right? If she, had, if she had two inches less shoulders, <laughs> it would have been perfect. Yeah. If she was petite. Is that what you're saying? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> She did have good shape, though. Like, she did. Yeah. She, was she was shapely. Shape, she was shaped she right. She was very she shapely. Good. It was good. Uh, we did just um, Alexis Michelle. How do we feel about Alexis Michelle? It, it was, was a good one. Like it was good. Good one. It's, it's, it's like you were saying. It was very like we've seen this silhouette from her before. But like in a design challenge, do what you know, yeah. bitch, and make it work yes. and, and turn it up a little bit. Yeah, but I think she looked great. The color hair with it was cute. Very I loved, smart. I love that color hair with the outfit because it was just so drastic from the deep blues of it. It yeah. just like... A pop of color. Um, she had a similar color scheme as what Chanel wore in, so I think she got some inspiration from what uh, Chanel had on, if you noticed Ooh, that. Ooh, she's still in! <laughs> it's usually Chanel, though, right? Yeah. Ooh! Uh, oh. <laughs> she didn't do it, allegedly. Oh. I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. know. Oh, shit. I don't know. Uh, what about Jimbo? How do we feel about Jimbo? <laughs> Once again. That... She ate up. She did. The she all did. my only critique was I wish she had like maybe had like you know how like when Violet Chachi will have like the diamonds dripping on her head or something like that. Like I wish she had something else to tie the pearls into the look. Or a little bit more. or just hair. I wish maybe hair. Yeah. A wig would have just really uh, balanced out with the big shoulders. When the hood like, was you know still on. I mean? 
Yeah, Brian, Cunty. that's right. She did have the hood. Yeah, when she had right, the hood right. on, it was Cunty. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Did it. true. Hmm, How'd you guys like Jimbo's? What you thought? I like great construction. I just could have done without the pearls as the smile and the eyes. I would have loved to see like their actual face um, in the face kini and you know maybe the pearls on the hair. But it was beautiful. Great job. I think it was very smart. I like what they did. It was very similar to a New York um, creative artist named Pissy P. I don't want to say their full name, but look them up on Instagram. Um, with the, the whole face kini covered in very textile fabrics, it looked um, very similar to that, and I think they executed it very well as well. Wait, I'm confused. You want us to look her up, or you don't want to give us her name? I, I can't yeah. say their full name, because I don't know if we'll get in trouble for that. Oh. Oh, got it. Okay. It's, uh, okay, cat. Think of cat. <laughs> Kitty cat. Girl, uh, uh, just, uh, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have Candy Muse. How do we feel about Candy Muse? It, it was cute. It was simple. Too simple. It was simple. But you cute. know what? I, I think it was, I, I thought it was great, but I would have had like 10 bracelets on each. If you're not doing gloves, 10 bracelets you, on you each side. You guys swear and, the whole show and you won't say pussy? Oh, Give them a shout out. Give wait, them a hold shout on. out. We can who, say it. Who, who, uh, <laughs> Miss... <laughs> Well, I'm like this, God? Thank that you, just scared the shit I know, out of me. I was like, uh, no. who's talking? The thing is, I'm, I'm assuming this is where you got this from, when we, our things used to be not taken down, but like when we used to say curse words. So we can say it. Say okay. her fucking Shout name. Shout out to Pissy Pussy, who I there think Jimbo got the reference from. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's why I was so confused, girl. I was like, oh, yeah, happened? one time they were like, hey, watch girl, the words. Girl, we up here talking about some fucking like, shit. I've said fuck you like pussy. how many times already. Um, anyway. But, um, okay, I, I, I feel like if the... Because the gown looked very well made, it, by the it way. It fitted her right? very it well, It fitted her well. Someone finished it for her at oh, nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi finished it up the road. <laughs> I just feel like accessorized a little heavier would have even made it even better. An um, accessory can save a look. Oh, I'm, it really could. I'm sitting here in a jersey, really. These gloves are giving it, honey. You see it? <laughs> oh, my lash. Four people think so. <laughs> Heidi, four people think so. You <laughs> like, listen, that's, as long as Heidi's that's got That's better four, than nothing. There you go. That's better than nothing. I'll take it. There you go. I'll take four people. She said, my gloves are doing it. The girl said, let me grab a They're fly like, real quick. They're like, whoa. The girl put a They're fly in They're cute or mouth. whatever. They're cute or whatever. <laughs> Well, now that we've seen all five of our competitors, who do we think is in jeopardy of possibly going home tonight? Ooh, Heidi, I'll let you go first. Oh, me? Um, I, I honestly, I, I'm gonna be very blunt. I think it's very obvious and apparent who's gonna be the ones in trouble. I think it's Lala and Candy. I feel like Jessica was very like safe, clean, and then uh, the two who really took it to the next level was Jimbo and Alexis. I think. There was a little, it wasn't that they were bad, it was just there was an issue here, issue there. Because no one did bad. No one made like a, a La La Re right. bag ball look, you know? Totally, like it yeah. Was, yeah. Everything was serviceable. See, know? and I think that like looking at everyone, I feel like you could look at like Jessica's and you can say, okay, I know the work that went into that. You could yeah. look at uh, Jimbo's and say, I can see the work that went into that. You look at um, Alexis, same thing. You could see the work. You look at Candy, and you look at Lala, and you're like, you cut out a rectangle and sewed it on both sides and threw it on. Yeah, they just you did enough. They did enough to get by, um, but conceptually, the other girls had more, like you were Correct. saying. And if it was at the beginning of the competition, yeah. and you have twelve different looks, okay, you're safe. Yeah. But when you have what is it, five of five them left. left? There's a microscope. Yeah, bitch. it's like let's see who's really putting in the work and who's not. Um, so I think that's kind of like where, not to mention, the, well, anyway, yeah, let's just even have to mention and, and it. The hairline. And the hairline, you know, my God. Yeah, it was just a little far, Lala. I love you, girl. We'll see you next week. All right, should we go back? Yeah, let's oh, go back. Oh, you mean here next week? Yes. Yeah, she'll she's, be here. She's here oh. next week. Uh, speaking Who of, else? next week we have uh, Lala Ri and Alexis Michelle will be oh. here next week. So hope to see you guys. This is too much. I know. Bitch, got I me, live. Got me stressed the fuck out. Well, what? you know, well, I, want, I mean, Alexis and Candy, they're New York sisters. They yes. both come from New York. So, yes. I mean, I'm sure that plays a factor There's to it, there. too. But y'all see how extra she is. I told y'all she was Bitch. so extra. So extra. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised she didn't break it. down right there. Baby, I love it. I mean, she kind of did, but I love it. Bit, she did a little bit. Little she bit. Pulled if off that, the but let me tell you what. If that girl... 
picked Lala's lipstick after last week, she gonna, the world is going to come for her, and that is not good. Well, she just said right now in her confessional, I will not. She said, she said she'll remember. Yeah, she that said, I will remember. She said, and, 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 and I know Alexa, she ain't got a good memory. Because <laughs> she don't remember a certain conversation. I'm not going to delve too deep into it. <laughs> she don't remember, uh, but she remembers this one. So hopefully, hopefully that. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, I also know Candy's going through it because they've had two fights about parts already. It's yes. just like she's in her head, she's like, I'm pretty sure I'm going home. She's been saying all day she's going to look out for Lala, but she doesn't see this moment right in here. In earshot of Candy, too. Like, it's a small, like, though the workroom's bigger than it used to be back in the day, it, we're all still within earshot of each other. So, so you, you hear know, the conversation. You know Candy sitting here hearing her saying that to Lala. You know she is. I'm like, oh, girl, I don't know. That's stressful. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so really quick, let me ask you this, Heidi. If you were in this situation yes. and you had to vote between Candy and Lala, <coughs> who are you sending home? Some people wearing ear pads watching and listening to our show. You fuck them up. So, sorry for our headphone listeners. I'm sorry for that. Um, what was the question? I'll repeat it. I got no problem. I got no problem repeating it. The question is, if you were in the uh, top and you had to vote one of them two off, who would you vote off? Mind you, they both have the same, the same? exact track record. Yeah. So it might have to be a personal decision. Now, what would you do? Am I Heidi and Closet in this instance, or am I Alexis Michelle in this you instance? You are Heidi, Heidi and, and closet. closet. Okay. Also taking into consideration. Did all the bullshit that yep, happened yes, already yes, happen? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm sending Candy home. <laughs> Lie on me, you getting sent home. She, she lucky I did. She lucky I left because I would have sent that bitch packing immediately. I'm like, bitch, if I had landed, if all that shit had happened with us and I landed in the top and she was in the bottom, I would have been like, babies, we ain't even got to deliberate. We already know what I'm about to do, baby. Okay. Oh, actually, no, I would have looked at Candy. I'm like, tell the truth and I'll keep you. <laughs> tell the truth that to the other girls see. and I'll keep you. Now, okay. now go tell that. And all the truth, not just a little bit uh, of it. Don't tiptoe, don't pussyfoot around that question or answer either. Tell it and tell it true. Tell, tell the truth and shame the devil. Ah. Uh, Heidi, I want to ask you this. Yeah. Um, going into this season, the, there was like, not I guess, yeah, the rumors. Were you, Jimbo, and Candy on tour and all kind of got the call at the same time? Did you find that from Reddit? Yes. <laughs> You been you been on Reddit. You, I don't have you a, talking to my homegirl, she devil. I don't have a computer. <laughs> uh, actually, we had gotten the call shortly before going on tour together, and then uh, it, we were doing the Canadian tour. War on the not war on the war on the cat. Yeah, war on the catwalk. And then Jimbo joined a couple days after everybody else. So me and Candy got there, and I wasn't gonna say that. I was just gonna be the bitch. I'm be myself. And then I was sitting there, sitting there painting. And I went to go um, go for a little pee break, and then I ran into Candy in the hallway. And Candy stopped. She was like, "Heidi." I was like, "Yes." She's like. <laughs> I was like, what? She's like, I was like, <laughs> and then and then Jimbo came two days later, and then it just came up in conversation. And honestly, in the reality, we formed that alliance only because we felt like now this isn't shady to nobody else, but we we looked at each other, and then we had looked at all the rumors and stuff, and we were kind of like. We felt like we were all each other's biggest competition as far as the competition going. Like, like not just our drag, but also like we know production likes us and this, that, and the third, and all these other things and stuff. <laughs> we <Nation>. love. We, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Some more than others. <laughs> so we were like, well, if we're all watching each other's backs, then what would we have to worry about? Apparently it was each other. So... The one from New York is what you needed to worry about. But I wasn't on this list, right? I, by this time, you uh, you didn't know that I was even cast because no, no. I, no. So yeah, I, I when everyone knew who was cast, I wasn't on on that list. No, like, uh, someone else yeah, was. Somebody and else they, was. They could not do it and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who was that? I we, still uh, know we can't well, talk I, about I, that. We, that we won't talk about because uh, unless you're on patreoncom slash how to be patron for five dollars. Work. I'm joking. That's not on there. <laughs> but it could be. 
woo, nature's little woohoo just tickled me. Woohoo, woohoo, Rick and Rick and Heidi. I love, I love this oh my God, I love that. Okay, um, no, so um, okay, so really quick, um, since we just brought up that whole drama that happened, yes. um, okay, so we had come up kind of like with our own little uh. Conspiracy. synopsis of like oh. you know what what happened like we're like maybe this is what it is because yeah. i'm like are y'all really lying to each other dead in y'all's faces Faces. or so so this is what we kind of like came up with right yes we're like okay so maybe you know how it gets from like one person to another to another to another like telephone like telephone yes and i'm like so maybe candy's like oh bitch jimbo is a threat Mm -hmm. i don't know how i feel about that and then, which, and, and let's say she says, and if she's in the top, I don't know what I'll do. Now, instead of saying those exact words, you would be like, oh, but she gunning for you, which is pretty much the same thing. Mm-hmm. It's just different wording, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So we're like, maybe that's kind of what it was because when Candy was like, <laughs> that's what we're getting to the bottom of. Because you know what was so funny? That Candy was like, at one point, she just like, well, anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. What matters is that da 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 And then it was like, okay, wait, so did you say it? So it was like, okay, so it just like what exactly? Over. Yeah, yeah. Because she was kind of like, so what exactly was like, how did that transpire? <laughs> Please Conversation no recording, happen. And oh, no recording. <laughs> no recording. No recording, except you, my friend. Record. I need this later. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, go uh, ahead. Go for it. Go for it. I want to know. So, okay. So, <laughs> I knew this was coming. But, okay. So, what happened? The thing is, Candy said it twice. The one instance that I brought up in the workroom was with Alexis in the tent when she said it. Now, there was another time she also said it, and we were in the car. Jimbo had just got out the car. See, if you were on my Patreon at patreon.com, so I shot Patreon. <laughs> this story is already up there. So y'all would have done this for like two or three weeks by now. Okay, but you but, at Roscoe's YouTube right now, so, so spit here. it, bitch. So I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. So she also said it in the car after Jimbo had gotten out the car, and then there was me, Candy, and a couple other girls, and I've actually had conversations with these other girls, and they have confirmed that, yes, in fact, she did say that if, well, actually, I'll tell you the exact wording. So this is what happened. So we were in the car, we're we're waiting to go in on set, and then one of the producers come out and talks to us. Jimbo said something really stupid and um, made them laugh. And then they walked away, and then we were allowed to get out the car. Jimbo got out first because she was the closest to it. And then Candy turned and was like, you see, the producers love her. If she ever lands in the bottom, we need to send her home. And then she hopped out the car. And I, I, some, some of the girls who were on the cast knows for a fact that is exactly what she said because they have told me. However, they have said, please do not name them because they want to stay out of the drama. So, yes. Well, we can just go back and figure out who was there. <laughs> Well, yeah. at that point, there yeah. was a lot. I mean, everyone was. I mean, there were only three people gone at that time, right? Uh, yeah, the first time she said it, yes, it was four. The fir- uh, the second time she said it. Okay, good to know. Yeah, good yeah, to yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. But uh, me and Candy have worked through it and everything. Yeah. We actually were on tour for uh, the Haters Roast, and there was one day where the whole thing came up, and bitch, we barked at each other. We did. Cause I was like, bitch, you not. She said, "What did she say?" She said that uh, she didn't lie. I was like, "Oh, bitch, now wait a minute. Now I'm gonna put all this aside because I love you, but you're not gonna sit here and say you didn't lie because you did. Period." So we had that moment, and then the very next morning, we still had a little more uh, barking to do. And then about six hours later, we were back to cutting up and kicking in because we've let it go. Honestly, I, I let it go a long time ago. Thank God for therapy. Uh, mostly, uh, when I say therapy, my friends and <laughs> that listen to me complain. <laughs> But yeah, that was what was said. And I do have to say that one of the greatest qualities that Heidi has is all you have to do is talk to her about it. Seriously, all you have to do is talk and communicate. Even though some people, some people still, even though communicating might not be best for them because they're not confrontational or this or that. But for Heidi, all you got to do is really talk to her. And I'm an open it. book. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, I'm, very, I love I'm that. like, I like, ask me questions. I'll talk about it. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so y'all heard it. Y'all figured it out. Candy's a liar. (laughs) 
I'm just kidding, Candy. I love you. You lying, bitch. I love Candy. I love you, Candy. I'm just we all love you. Candy. We, no, all, we love all love Candy. candy. I'm just fucking with you guys. Um, but all right, let's go. <laughs> let's go back to the show and see how this goes. Lip sync. <laughs> what do you guys think? Who do you think? No one won that. They both go home. Girl, wait. No, no. If you got to pick one, I, I'm going to pick Alexis for this. The little breakdown kind of did it she for knew. me. As soon as I saw the breakdown, she knew what she had to do. She knew what she had to do yeah, at that Yeah, they've point. seen the music video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think Jessica Simpson did the same thing, too. I, I, Come on, boot. <laughs> what is this song? Maybe that's the version Nikki was doing. I don't Bitch, know. I don't know. They both look good, but something happened. That was the most lackluster I have ever it seen. Well, yeah, it... The song there two was no is energy. Kinda, the song two is kind of like, Ugh. that's not a lip sync battle. But it was just, Batty. it was just weird. This was supposed to be a lip sync battle for your life. That Batty. wasn't a battle. Did it feel like a battle? Batty. I feel like they just walked through, did a little ten minute pussy number, and bitch paid it. Batty. Uh, Batty, you didn't think it was entertaining. Bitch, fuck you. <laughs> You're not about to put me under this. You, ah, uh, uh, Heidi. Batty, you really just gonna sit here and say that was a gimme? <laughs> I, listen. I'm sorry. Did that give? No. Thank you. Well, y'all said it, not me. <laughs> it just didn't. Except you could really get her opinion on her Patreon. Yeah, on Patreon. <laughs> Mia, we're, we'll be guests tomorrow for five dollars. Tomorrow for five tomorrow bucks, for you'll five know exactly bucks. how she felt. Bitch. Okay, play this. Let me see. All right, the let's fuck. see. Let's see this shit. Come on. <laughs> Work. Okay. Work. Wow. Wow. I uh, am so. I don't even know the words right now to say how I feel. I feel like I was betrayed by someone that I put my trust in as a competitor. I want to know what Candy has I on Alexis. She has something on her. She backed down during that confrontation. She's holding her she, balls, bitch. She, well, she said she's scared of her. <laughs> Nasha, what she is did. it? She what did. is it? What's, what do you think is going on with those two? Why she would do that to that girl? She uh, told her and told everybody in the room, and now everyone fully knows that she is a liar. No one can trust her. What do you do? Girl. I don't know. I really don't know why she did that. I, you know me, I try to come up with all these conspir conspiracy theories and whatnot, and I just feel like Candy... Listen, nobody plays this game like Candy in the sense that... People know how to, it's like people are really good at drag and then there's those people that are like amazing at fucking drag race. And Candy is really good at drag race. Like really, really good. So she's bad at drag? And No, she's great. No, no, no. Uh, ladies, that's, ladies, What I'm please. saying is, <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. I'm that's just kidding. That's not what I meant, you bitch. I just wanted to ruffle Ooh. some fucking feathers too, bitch. <laughs> Get no, her. I, I just... <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Because I, I thought about this, and I don't know if she thought, maybe this is my New York sister, and I'm going to... I Probably not. But I'm thinking maybe if, if she sent Candy home, production would get mad at her. Like... But, okay, then tell me, fucking Heidi. Heidi's <laughs> like, no, that's well, not it. Well, I, don't, I don't know if they show it in Untucked oh, Why. Oh, got it, got it. Okay. It, they might show the because oh. I've had a conversation with both of them, and I know with, what with was the straw Candy, that broke the cam with, and Alexis. I know it. what the straw was that broke the camel's back. So okay, I don't okay. know if they show it in Untucked, so I don't want to say but, it right now. So do you think the decision was more based on the relationship between Alexis and Candy or Alexis and a Lala? Connection, a connection of, of, how can I say this without saying it? it there's, a, there's a connection between Candy and Alexis that I don't know if it's going to show on top, but there's a connection there that is why she That did affected the decision. So mm -hmm. it didn't have anything to do with Lala is what no, I'm trying to get at. No, okay. they threw the bitch under because the bus. I'm like, what happened with yeah, like nothing bad happened. I, d I personally, I don't know why she kept saying I would save you or I will remember what you did last week. If you was going to send her home, you shouldn't have been saying all that. That's period. Yeah. And like that's where the fans go crazy because she literally had the chance, you know what I'm saying, to like come forward and say, and she had the chance right here to do the right thing that she said she would do with her heart, and that was to save Lala. And then she went and turned her back and, and sent her home for the better good of her. Shh. <laughs> She she definitely wanted to. I I do know that she wanted to like change the perception of her going into the season. I feel like she had two really good opportunities to do it, and I feel like she made the absolute worst decision in both cases. <laughs> um, 
I'm not saying that Candy should have gone home. I'm saying with Alexis pulling the lipsticks after everything that had been done and said, she made her wrong decision in that instance. Like, in no world can you sit here and say in her head that she was like, I, I, ever since day one, I've been talking about how I have a crush on this queen, how I think she is sexy, I wanna, I wanna take her on a roast chicken dinner, and this, that, and the third, and then she saved you last week, and then you're saying all this week how you wouldn't send her home. In no world, at least for me personally, I would have been like, yeah, it's okay to send her home. It doesn't make sense. It wouldn't have made sense in my head. She did tweet that um, she did sleep on it, and she wished she would have made the other decision and sent Candy home. But Don't I, backpedal. Yeah. Stand by it. Stand by it. There is no remix here, bitch. I'm eager to see what she has to say next week. Will we see y'all here next week to see what she has to say and, as at well? At least, hopefully she'll remember it. She has a week. <laughs> you got one week to think about what you're going to say, sister. Because that, that just really, like... That just fucked with the fans. And it really, I really think what she did trying to give herself the upper hand really smacked her in the ass. Like, honestly, if, if she had sent Candy home, people probably would be singing her praises right now. No offense, yeah. no shade, but I've seen the reactions online between the two of them and like how the fans have perceived both of them throughout the season. People would have been cheering for Alexis tonight if she had sent Candy home. No, yeah. no shade, just that's how the fan and toxic the fans are. They would have been like, good job, and it would have redeemed her. And also in the, for my situation, when I brought her into the whole situation, um, I think if she had at least picked a side in our situation, she gave Barry back and forth flip flop. And I think if she had sat there and said, no, Candy, that's, that's not what, that's what you said, or yes, Heidi, that's what, like if she had chose a side, I think it would have still came off better than back and forth, yes, no. Also, if you think of the, the numbers, like had she saved uh, Lala, I, I would say this is a permanent alliance that you have, right? So the following week... Well, she wanted to be in alliance with me, Jimbo, and Candy. Uh, like she gave us all notes. Oh. What did the notes say? I want to be in alliance. Hey, I think the three of you and the, me could work very well together, and we should be in alliance together. I have the note at my house in my dresser, actually. Let's take a picture Well, of it's because it. she gave all of us the same letter because Candy gave me her letter. That, the thing is, she gave me my letter first, and I gave it to Candy. I'm like, Candy, look, she wants to work with us. And then two days later, she gave the exact same note to Candy, and then Candy gave it to me, and I have Candy's note in my dresser. I'm a petty bitch. I keep receipts. <laughs> That's the only way you win so nowadays, good. bitch, with a receipt. I, I live. Okay. Um, I live. How, wow. How was it for you seeing Nikki Doll back on this screen? My bitch! <laughs> I wish they had picked a different song. Right. That song was just That song. That song weird. didn't kick up until like the last 10 seconds. And, and then they cut it. <laughs> yeah, they were like, come on, boots. Bye. But, I'm but she looked flawless, yeah, though. Yeah, that bitch looked really good. good. That's my sister. Yeah. Season 12 representing. Yes. Um, well, speaking of her in season 12, um, season 12 was the first time we had something um, outside of the show affect how the outcome was going to turn out. How, did you, how do you think you and your uh, castmates best navigated that while that was happening? Honestly, I think it gave us a sense of we need to stick together. So we all, like, we were all sitting at home. We couldn't be together. So we were like, we're going to at least be together online with each other and support each other. And we were, it was very much a, a we love, like, season 12 was best friend race. It really Elevate, was. It was drag race. But, like, we still had our little tips here and there and our little arguments here and there. But overall, we all very much got along and stuff. And I think that really helped with us. And honestly, I think that's what we needed in that time, too, because it came at a very rough time in the world. And I think if we had had a season like season 11 or something like that where it was just like, ah, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I think it would have drove everybody in quarantine insane. So, Well put. Well, let's go ahead and get into Untucked. Oh, yes. Let yes. me see if it's going to be said what's then, supposed to be said. Hey. Yeah, and then after Untucked, we'll do a Q&A uh, so we can ask um, questions. Crazy. Yeah, let's go into Untucked. Girl. Baby, baby, listen. The second... <laughs> The second that she said that to her, I know Lala said, I know I'm going home. Yeah, she looked at her, she said... She, yeah. she basically said right then and there she was going to send her home. It, would you not be mad at me? Like, that's basically what she said. She, said, she just told the girl, if I by chance happen to have forgotten what I said last week... <laughs> what, how'd she say it? How'd she say it? So if I perhaps forgotten that I... <laughs> what I said last week and mm -hmm. I sent you home would you be mad at my sisterhood <laughs> bitch <laughs> god 
damn it, Alexis. Yeah, I wanted to root for you, bitch. I wanted to. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm literally. <laughs> I'm just. I'm lost for words at the whole situation. I just. I really like. I said. I. I don't know. Does anybody else feel this way, or is it just me? Like, I really like. I. I. Um. I. I have a lot of like. I understand Alexis. She's a seasoned queen, and like I, I get what she's doing, but I don't think it's the benefit for her, f the further of her career, you know? I just, I, I feel like, I don't know. Listen, I, I'm like, okay, obviously it's the shady thing to do, but I'm loving it. Like, it's like, no, seriously. You are like, the shadiest queen no, in the world. No, it's not that. It's like the obvious, it's, it's the whole obvious choice thing, and then, her going back on it, it's some drama, it's some shit, it's good, it's good TV basically. And say what you want to say about Alexis, that bitch has been good TV, the bitch has lied, she goes backtracks, she's doing the fucking most. I mean, I'm not mad at it. It's we talking about it, ain't we? That, right, that's what I'm saying. We're having full on conversations about it. The thing about Drag Race, we aren't brought there to show off our drag. We're not there to be a star. What we're brought there to do is make good fucking TV. And, and, and Bottom that, line. That, it is. It's a TV show before it's a competition. Period. That's it. And I think this bitch is like, let's make some good TV. I don't know. Girl, she gonna get hired I feel like you alone on that one. <laughs> I feel like you feel oh, alone. I I'm totally alone on this. Um, <laughs> I'm totally alone on this. But it, seriously, it's, it's, it's good fun to watch, no? Are you guys having fun watching it? Yeah, because it was yeah. like, in the moments while it was happening, I think we all had our own opinions, whether it be positive or negative. But once it's all said and done, you're going to be like, no, Alexis and Heidi kept the season going with the drama. Oh, totally. And like, and Heidi, and even, <laughs> and even Heidi Dramatica, said Dramatica, honey. Right. Dramatica. But, it, and it's, you, and you know what it is, too? It's, it's simple. It's, I like Alexis Michelle because I know her off this show okay. and I know who she is. Yeah. This is just a fucking TV show. Mm -hmm. Now, do I like Alexis on the show? Damn, you some shady bitch. <laughs> you doing some shady shit and you're like, damn it, villain. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's good TV. And I think that's what it is, is that you guys, uh, not you in this room, but the, the fandom, I would say, forget to do, is you forget to differentiate the queen when you see her on stage at the club and the, the show that she's putting on on this screen. Listen, take this for what it is, for face value, and have fun with it. But when you see this bitch giving you her drag, that's who she is. Yeah. That's who you applaud. That's who you show love for, because that's who they are. Yes. Remember, oh. these are time capsules of certain moments. These are not these queens their whole life. Yes. Absolutely. I remember on season 12, one of the guest judges told us that we need to be able to separate our art from who they are as a person. And I think that's very much what this is. Like, Alexis Michelle in real life is a good person. She's sweet, she's kind, she's thoughtful, very analytical, she's very anal retentive about things too. I remember when we were doing press week and we were at that one stop that didn't have the lights cut on, but they were right there. She was sitting there like, y'all don't wanna cut the lights on. Oh, yeah. She was like, y'all, she's like, bitch, if you raise the lights up and just raise them up just a little bit higher and then it'd be hitting the cheekbone right here. And it'd be she was there for everybody. She was like, bitch, get these lights on. She Can went, you raise these up right here, please? <laughs> She's that kind of girl. She is. She, she's, she is a good person. Yeah. Now, does she necessarily always make the best decisions? No. Clearly but also, not. it's a TV show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying I don't dislike the girl. I'm just saying yeah. that I'm sad. <laughs> she, baddie's hurt. No, I love you, Alexis. I was, next week, next when week Alexis we're going to drink right, a whole bottle. When, when Alexis sits right there, Baddie's going to sit on the end. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. no. Actually, Alexis already messaged me. She's like, I'm sitting by you when I come because we had such a wonderful time in WeHo for the first, epi first yeah. two episodes. So yeah. she's like, I'm excited to see we'll, her again. We'll see if she does that after she watches You're this. You bitch! I, right. You know she's going to watch. I will be sure to watch. send her the link. The invite is, is you can still sit here, girl. <laughs> I'm actually gonna get. I'm gonna send her a highlight reel just so she could see you everything you said. Bitch. Anyway, on that note, let's go back to Untucked. Yeah. Okay, I want to get into this behind the scenes with our lip sync assassin. Since Heidi, you've actually had the pleasure of doing that as well. Um, did they tell y'all to bring multiple looks? Because she was pulling out stuff that she didn't even use. Um, no, they don't tell us to bring multiple looks, but we, as drag queens pack a whole bunch of extra shit with stay ready use, so yeah you have to just in case you get there zipper breaks and shit and be like oh well bitch I gotta get something together actually fun fact um 
for another lipstick assassin, Jada, when she was a lipstick assassin, she had left her wig at my apartment. And I had, they actually had her call me say, hey, can we record this phone call of me getting my wig from you? I was like, okay, sure. So she hung up, called me back, and I had to act surprised that she's calling about her wig and stuff. And then I had to Uber the wig to her. That's so sweet of you. I'm a good person, I'm a sweetheart. I'm like, come on, so I'll get your wig to you, baby. Yeah. All right, but. And speaking of Jada, uh, when can we expect season two of Hall and Closet, Diva? Oh my gosh. Well, the podcast has taken a, a small break. A little break. But I can say for sure that next month, Hall and Closet will be making its grand return. <laughs> Some more foolishness with one of my best friends. I'm so excited. We literally, just, sometimes I just get high and just let that bitch talk. Sometimes you, I, I, the thing is, when you're working with someone, you have to know what they are doing and what they give and stuff like that. And I know that bitch will talk yeah. and that bitch will land the conversation. So sometimes I just let it go, take it. And I'm like, mm-hmm, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> For the people who listen, mm -hmm. um, can we expect John Cena on this season? Let, what? Getting emotional. <laughs> Prick it, girl. Hit it, hit it harder. <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to be hitting? Wait. <laughs> Your <laughs> eye. <laughs> oh, but unfortunately, we we did not get John Cena. However, we've had a lot of good guests. We actually had an uh, artist that works on uh, Big Mouth come and talk with us. So we have like. Our podcast is all about having <laughs> bubble bar. Uh, oh but, uh, my God, a hormone <laughs> monster. <laughs> But we, what we love about our podcast is that we have so many different people, usually queer people, coming from all different walks of life. It's not just a, a podcast about drag. It's a podcast about, we've had people who work at NASA come to our podcast and talk to us, artists, other queer people. And we have a lot of renovations that we did that's going to really amp up and make it juicy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we can't wait to listen. <laughs> it's a good time. All right, we're going to go back to Untuck because I want everyone to get a chance to ask questions. So let's go back to Untuck. So there's no fame game this week because it's a design challenge. And so they didn't give us, like, you know what the design is or what you would come up with. And it would be unfair. I can say, hey, Joshuan, can you make this? And I'm just going to say I made it. Is Fuck that cool? yeah. So you. Well, so no, I they think cheating anyway, they bitch. Could've, they could have cut so. out half that episode and brought y'all back in and let y'all design something. That would have been cutty. I mean, yeah, that, that would have been actually pretty cool to have. Uh, it would have been great to have yeah, been yeah. brought back. Yeah, you yeah, would not yeah, have come back. I would have. You would have. I would have gone back yeah. for something. <laughs> She's like, I would have been. So wait, really quick, I want, I want you guys <laughs> to take notice. Um, uh, you see, we, we're like getting mad at Alexis. We're like, you know, how dare you do this and do this and do that. But every single girl voted for La La Ree. Yeah. They did. So what does that say? No, uh-uh. They did that. <laughs> They did no, that shady girl. shit where they wanted to save their friend last time and they sent the other girl home. Who was it, James? It was James when James had the better track record, correct? And then they sent Wait. Kahana home. I think. No, girl, no, you got it way. all fucked up. It was the other up, way, girl. I'm sorry. It was the other way. They sent Kahana home because she had she, the better performance, right? Yeah, 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 the performance. She was in the, <laughs> is that right? Was the Joan Craw Crawford the Joan one, right? Joan Crawford, yeah. Is that when Kahana went home? No, that no. was when James went home. So James went home. So when That's was what it? That's what you're talking about. When was it that you're you talking home? about? James got sent home, and you think Kahana should have gone home. Is that what you're saying? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, no, yeah, by yeah, yes, because okay. that's how it should have went based on how everybody was, you know, the the track record and all that jazz. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Neither do I. But, um, Alexis did say La La Star was on the rise, and I think that's what she took into heavier consideration. You know what? Let me break it down for you real break quick. Break it down. I'm just kidding. I don't have time. Y'all have questions for Heidi, right? Yeah, we want to get to We're going to do Q&A. Let's do Q&A now. Um, we'll definitely touch back. Touch base on the... We'll circle <laughs> back. Circle back to La La Ri and Alexis when we have them here next week. Um, so we can actually talk about it exactly how it went down, okay. what their thoughts were exactly. Um, so we'll do that next week. Yep, next week. Dang. Cool. At this time, though, we're going to go ahead and do Q&A. So if you have any questions, um, we have answers. Oh, All right, here we go. Make some, what's your name? Not too much. Not too much. Yeah, think about the context of your Everybody question. Everybody say hi, Kaden. Hi, Kaden. Kaden's been so kind tonight, being my handrail. And our ASL he, interpreter. He's a fabulous <laughs> interpreter. All right, I'm going to start right over here, and then we're going to work our way. Come on down, Caramel. Hi, come here. 
What's your name? Dalton. Hi. So Where are you from, Dalton? Kansas City. Thank you. Um, so the question is, was there a reading challenge this season, and why wasn't it aired? I don't think there was a, re at least while I was there, there was not a reading challenge, but I know I walked in ready to read the bitches. I had my, in my little uh, gap purse, I had my reads right there. Ready. I was ready for the girl, and I was like, let's read these bitches stuff. Phil. It, it's so funny because since uh, I, I was cast last, I knew everyone that was on the cast already, <laughs> so I knew all of them, so I had reads for every well, single for me? one of them. I'm not going to say, Heidi. <laughs> Um, I, you want me to hear listen, my read for candy? I think now is a perfect time that we have a little read. What do you mean? Does somebody have glasses I can wear? Read no, I'm just kidding. I'm not doing it. I, I, oh, my God. I was kidding. The library is open. Yeah. You can start by reading me with my bad drag. I'll let I'm you not, start there. <laughs> I'm not going to. No, I'm not doing this. She can't no. see. She, um, Darian Lake did say a couple weeks ago there was not a reading challenge when she was on there. She said it, um, she feels like it was probably moved around, but we have a few more episodes. We don't know yet. Yeah. I think it was You're taken so out. Messy. I just think it was taken out completely because it's just one of those things that sometimes it's just like... It's a hit or a miss. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit or miss or whatever. Did you yeah. see that one on that Canada season? What was it? The, uh, Canada no, versus it the was, world? That reading challenge was horrible. There was one that was really bad where everyone was just so That's bad. the Canada versus the world. Yeah. That, and the thing, the gag in season 12, we had a reading challenge that didn't make the edit because they told us it was bad. And then I saw that Canada versus the world when I was like, nah, bitch, I know we read better than that. I know you <laughs> fucking lying, bitch. Girl, release the tapes. I don't care. Our next question's right over here. What's our name, gorgeous? Hi, I'm Devontae from Chicago, Hi, West Side. Heidi, I've been waiting for you to pull up since we had spoke at a drag home about this shirt. She does fit, like so she's cunt. Yeah. So the question for Nation, Heidi, um, seeing that the season is almost over and we do always do a redemption look, what redemption look will one of both y'all have done? Oh God, my whole package from season 12. <laughs> Uh, wait, from season, wait, from, are you talking about from our original season or all-star season? season? From the original season. I only had one, boo. <laughs> you had two. Which sucks, because you did no, have no, one. I had two, wait, yeah. I did. Wait, I had three. <laughs> she made one. She made one. So Sorry. two, she made okay, one. Okay. She forgot she was there the Bitch, first time. I forgot I was even there. Uh, no, I loved my neon one, and I loved the roller girl one. It was the first one that I had to make out of uh, what, um, what, what are they called? Yeah, it was drag on a dime. So it was unconventional. <laughs> Wait, what they say? Unconventional uh, drag. Right? It was unconventional products yeah. and stuff like that. Um, drag on a dime. So that I would have totally loved to redo that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, I probably would have. I had so many options. Um, <laughs> But I probably would have redone my capes look because I could have made something real cunty and just stunty. Just I, w I honestly would have went with like a 20 foot yard cape, just ignorant, just just a whole suitcase worth of cape, just ignorance with a touch of restraint, of course. All right, your next question comes over here. What's your name? Hi, Brian from Mississippi. Hi, Work. And I have a question for Heidi. Me? Yes. So. Love the fact that you're, you claim Ramsar, North Carolina. I think it's a beautiful thing uh, coming from the from Deep South. However, when I look over 15 seasons, I can count five drag queens that come from those small town cities. And so my question to you is, what, do you, what are you saying to other drag queens in small towns so that way they can be, get on Drag Race and you know get the notoriety and the claim? Because small town drag is a beautiful thing. I agree with everything you said, and I, what I usually say to the girls is, I, I feel like a lot of them being from small towns, they don't think they have what it takes to get on. They're intimidated. They see each year after year that it's not a lot of us from small towns on the show, and they see that, and they don't see themselves. So when we do go on there as small town girls, we do have to represent to a different standard than others. And I just want to say, bitch, you are worthy. Bitch, you are talented. And bitch, your drag is sickening. So go on and audition and get your ass on this motherfucker show because it don't matter if you're from a small ass town or a big ass city fierce recognizes fierce baby and go on with yourself okay um what is our name and who's our question for uh my name is jose and my question's for heidi i'm obsessed with you and your drag but my favorite part about you is that you play pokemon 
And I wanted to know what your favorite game was. Mine's black and white. Oh my God, such a personal question. <laughs> Uh, for me personally, I, I started with Generation 1. However, it is not my favorite. I'm not a Gen 1-er. I would say probably my, first, my favorite generation is Gen 3 because I, I played the fuck out of Pokemon Emerald growing up. I, mean, I, I still have a, a Nintendo DS with a copy of Pokemon Emerald up in there with all my favorite little Pokemons that I can't transfer any further on. I love them so much, baby, yeah. So Generation 3. All right. Work. All right, we're back here and over right here. Thank you. Hi. To the right. Hey, my name is Mike. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Oh. Heidi, I love you. And I met Nasha one time, and you were so nice to me, so I love you too. That's nice. Uh, she was drunk. As a of fact, That's different. So it's real, real That's simple. Real it's real simple. I just want to know you ladies' like favorite shade of uh, lipstick. That's pretty sh straightforward. What about a what, favorite that, What's your favorite color of lipstick? Oh, you know, I love a good nude. But a black girl Same. nude. Black girl. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. No offense. I, my nude ain't your nude, baby. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's just how it works. <laughs> same. It's funny because, yeah, it's the same. I, I, like, um, I just think sometimes with a really bold color and bold eyes, it's too much. So I, I always like a nude lip. I, I learned like that nude. it has to be one of the other. Like, one you either need a bold eye and a, a neutral lip or yeah. vice versa. It can't yeah. be both. No offense to those who no. do both. Wow. No All the clowns I, I running around. That, I, this is so funny. First <laughs> episode. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Move, bitch, get out the way. <laughs> I remember being on the runway, I'm not in the workroom, and we, I couldn't change my eye, but I wanted to put a red lip on for a look, and so I put this red lip on, and I had this really bold red lip, and then I had blue in my eyes, and I had this black liner. I'm like, my God, this is a horrible combination. I feel like I have so much shit on my face. And then I come out on the runway, and I look at Michelle, she has the same exact face on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, all right, well, it's cute. I like it. It works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> like she said, fierce recognizes fierce, baby. Yes. And do. Our next question's right over here. Again. What is our name and who's our question for? Well, my question is Jabray White. Hold on one second. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's my name. My oh. name. My name's Jabray White, and the question for Heidi. And I have a. I'm sorry. I have to stop you. Are you smoking weed, sir? <laughs> And if you saw why you not sharing, what's the team? Okay. Not quite, it's just me. <laughs> but, <laughs> I have the question for Heidi. It's two wrapped in one. I'm from Des Moines, Iowa, just to say it, baby. D the DMI, baby, ain't no lie. <laughs> All right, and that's the end of their question there. No, I'm kidding, no, no, I'm kidding. Oh, fuck. Um, so, why the fuck are you so damn fucking funny? First question, second question. <laughs> Caden, are you fucking single? <laughs> oh, Caden. 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 But that was a question and a half, wasn't she it? She is single in every city she tends. You want the mic, baby? Do you, uh, <laughs> I am not single. This is my boyfriend right here. <laughs> right there, this one, yes. <laughs> this one. <laughs> are we... Open relationship? Yes. Work. Y'all caught the sign language. You better that. get yeah. up in there, ah. son. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at look at Heidi and Claus at beat bringing couples and other people together. <laughs> look. All but right, we got question. we got two more questions okay. and we're gonna call it a wrap. Hold on, she didn't answer his though. Uh, what was the question again? What? Bitch, I don't know why I'm fucking. I just talk. And whatever the fuck falls out, I'm just like my grandmother. I have no filter. Whatever comes out my mouth falls out. I don't know. But thank you for thinking I'm funny. I appreciate you and celebrate you. And I hope you have a lovely threesome later on as well. Okay, bitch. He just set you up for a threesome. Can I watch? <laughs> Maybe. Thank you. No, 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 no. All right, we got a question, question right here. Hi, what's your name? Hi, uh, Arnaldo uh, from Chicago, big fan. Um, this is for both Heidi and Nisha. In your opinion, were there any girls on this season that you expected to be there or that you thought were gonna be there that surprised you that weren't there? Just your opinion. That we thought were gonna be there but were not there? Thought we're gonna be there. Well, you knew everybody that was uh, gonna be yeah, there. Yeah, but no, but I'm saying like, I think he's asking like if I got there and I was like, oh, Heidi's missing from here. Man, I really thought Heidi was gonna be on here like that. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Uh, was there anyone that you expected that was gonna be on there? Um, 
No, bitches like to talk. So I knew no. who everybody was going to I walked up in there knowing everybody was about to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great. I was like, perfect. I love it. Yeah, there was no one I was, yeah. Once you get that full list, you kind of you forget about all of that. I don't remember really. Okay, our next question's right over here. What is your name and who's our question for? How's it going? I'm Tim from Chicago, and it's for anyone, actually. You guys have done amazing tonight. Um, with being such a political climate and everything going on in this world right now, over 500 bills are on the docket right now uh, against LGBTQ plus rights. Say that number one more time. Over 500 bills. Again. Say over it again. 500 bills are on the docket Understand right now. Understand the importance of this, okay? My Keep question going. is, what does pride mean to you? I, I love this question. Thank you so much for giving Thank it you. to me. Um, as far as community and pride, pride to me is, is basically community and a uh, community that comes together and stands together and makes a change for itself because honestly that's what pride started out as, as a revolution for our people and our community and that's what it has continued for me personally to be is for us making the change that we want in this world, whether it's stopping all these uh, discriminatory bills or just having a good time shaking some ass. We are trying to build a better future for the, the LGBTQIA plus community that's going to come behind us. It's not just about today. It's not just about tomorrow. It's about our future. So it, for me, pride is about building that future for everyone, not just ourselves. Totally. Yes, ma'am. In on stage question and answer. Yes, <laughs> Heidi in question and answer. She is contestant number one. Okay. Uh, so uh, I agree with that 100% wholeheartedly. And I just want to add that um, the, the beautiful thing about Pride is that when you look around, um, whether it's at a parade or a Pride festival, or no one looks like each other. Everyone is so different, and, it, and we're celebrating that. Uh, the, the difference between people uh, that don't belong to the LGBTQ plus community is that they, a, they all want to be the same, and anybody different scares them. Yeah. And the fact that we uh, celebrate it, we are inclusive about differences, and we celebrate the diversity, the beauty, and everyone. And that's what pride is for me, uh, because we're all so different, and we should celebrate each and every single one of ourselves. Great job. I just want to touch base. Also, one thing for me about um, with pride, I like to inc incorporate the children. There's so many allies that have children that they, you know, they bring them to these parades or to paints. You know, I I literally painted a dinosaur with kids one time, and it was the most fun I had because they didn't see this. They didn't. They saw who I am as a person, and they saw my heart and not what I look like. And so for me, pride is really incorporating the younger generations like Heidi and trying to really. <laughs> it's okay. I know I'm really, young. You know, just she, Heidi is very young. Not everybody can be a dinosaur. Listen. So, huh. so when they, so when you were painting a dinosaur, they were painting me. Listen, this took a turn for the wow. worst right now. No, the children. This took it's, a real it's turn for right the children because the the children. I truly believe, and Whitney said it. The children are our future, honestly, and. There was one time when I was a child and I wasn't able to see that. And now that I am able to be that, I want to be make sure that I am seen. So, yeah. Thank you. Caramel. Um, for me, it is cashing in on the straight corporate gigs. I really enjoy that. That Thank is a positive. Oh <laughs> However, no, through my art form, pride to me is like the education, the education, the inspiration. Girl, no one's listening now. And the encouragement for what I do, so thank you. Yeah. Car you better get Car that coin, bitch. Caramel, uh, clap for Caramel. She'll be on vacation for the next four weeks of the show. Uh, no, really quick, before we uh, oh. wrap this up, oh. I want to say a special thank you to Caden. Clap for Caden. He's over here doing our ASL. Thank you so much for doing our ASL. We are very appreciative of you. Thank you so much. You're very kind, very kind. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, did we have a good time tonight? No, wait, wait, wait. She said, did we have a good time tonight? Sickening. Well, don't forget that at 10.30 p.m., we will all be taking the stage. We'll be performing tonight, so don't go anywhere. Stick around, have cocktails, all that good stuff. But in the meantime, I would love for you to clap and make her feel absolutely wonderful and gorgeous. Give it up for Heidi and Closet! <laughs> you always Thank you for joining us. Thank you to YouTube. Please subscribe if you haven't. Get
give it up for Batty Davis. Make some noise for Caramel DeVille. And keep that going for our All-Stars A Fame Game sister, Nisha Lopez. Thank you guys so much. Have a good night. We'll see you at 10.30. Oh.